So welcome to this week's version of TUTV. We're in Virginia Hall and we're here with some of our Tusculum authors and we're going to talk to them about some of their uh, writing and work that's taking place on campus. But uh, we thought it would be an excellent opportunity to highlight some of our student achievement in writing, um, especially on the heels of the announcement of Justin Phillip and his national uh, notoriety and capturing uh, his award, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes, and hopefully Dean Thomas and some other folks can, can allude to some of those successes. So let's start off by you introducing yourself and telling the world who you are, where you're from, and, and a little bit about what you're writing now. I'm Rachel Swatzel and I'm a junior at Tusculum University. I'm from Greenville. And you I'm almost said Tusculum College. Close. I write a little bit of every genre, but my main focus is poetry. So you were excited to see Justin? I was. Uh, I watched it in my dorm room, and when it was announced, I screamed. Good. Had a couple residents ask me if everything was okay. So. <laughs> Good deal. Uh, my name is David Presley. I'm a, also a junior here at Tusculum, and I'm from Crossville, Tennessee. I've got a play that I've been working non-stop on for a little while. Tell us about the play. What, what's your what's your hopes and aspirations for the play? It's only going to be 10 minutes. It's only going to be put in the 5 by 10s I hope that everyone reacts to it the way that I want them to. Yeah. I have some strong punchlines that I think are going to come through really well. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be good. So, uh, River Donnelly, uh, also a junior here, and uh, from Greenville also. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, actually, me and, pre uh, sorry, me and Rachel went to the same preschool together. Well, wow. preschool to now. Preschool yeah. through now. Yeah. So, so going back to Rachel, what's the class that you enjoyed the most? If you had to pick one, and then I'm going to ask you the, the, the adverse question that too, what's the most difficult class? That's why I ask I would say my favorite is intro to creative writing. Uh, yeah. Because what will we end to the department? Right. Um, that makes sense. Introduction. Yeah. Go to. But well, I took intermediate first. Not my least favorite, but at the time that I took it, I would say it's been my least favorite just okay. because it was a challenge not having a trip beforehand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. My favorite class is actually the one that I'm in now, it's script writing. On the converse of that, we have my least favorite, which has been uh, grant writing, and it's work that you never enjoy doing. Right. But grant writing is really critical to organizations, especially if you work at a nonprofit or if you were to create your own business and you're a small business, you're probably single on the right or, or you have a partner, grant writing will be one of those classes that you, you may not enjoy now, but you will certainly be thankful that you had it down the road. I've not been in the, uh, the English program as long, so I will say that of the classes I have taken, my most favorite has got to come down to either script writing or intermediate. And you're writing for someone else, right? You're writing yeah. a script for someone else to play out. I feel like that, that's my role as a president. Everyone else is writing my script every day because I show up and you really don't have a lot of control of your calendar, your schedule, right? Everyone else has control. So let's talk about Dean Thomas. He's a, as you know, all of our deans here at Tusculum, they're, they're, uh, they're practitioners as well, meaning that they teach. And so not only do they lead uh, departments, they also teach within those departments. And I know that Dean Thomas is really hands-on with the teaching and, and et cetera. So how is Dean Thomas as the dean versus the professor? Be, be honest, because this is TUTV, and there's nothing he can do to you because this is you know, this, this he would be going against what he teaches, the freedom of speech and writing, right? I would be careful, though. Oh. We are just class. kidding. I was just <laughs> kidding but, about the freedom of speech in this country. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, I was joking. Yeah. I was joking too. But uh, anyway, um, I will say that as a dean, you can tell that Wayne cares a lot about uh, this university. You know, he's also very hardworking. Uh, I, he's my advisor. So. Oh, great. So, uh, has he ever screwed up your schedule and you've been like? You know, I should have had this class, but you, you, you talked me into scheduling this class, and now I'm nine years away from graduation. No, he's never done no, it. He hasn't, good. He hasn't yeah. messed mine up. That occasionally happens in high What about Rachel? Uh, uh, as a dean, he's very passionate. He'll do whatever is best for the program. As a professor, I know when I first met Dean Thomas, uh, he's very intimidating. Yeah. And he pushes you. 
but he pushes you to make you a better writer. Right. That's the greatest. Well, thank you so much for joining this week's edition of TUTV. It's been exciting to, to learn about our uh, students and their aspirations and their career aspirations, but more importantly, some of the work that they're doing now. So until next week, go TU. Hello, I'm Wayne Thomas. I'm the Dean of the College of Civic and Liberal Arts. I'm with Desiree Madeley, the Chair of the English Department, who uh, just recently received great news that an alum, Justin Philip Reed, at the 2018 National Book Award for Poetry. So in the English department, after hours, when Justin was our student, we probably, I recall that we actually talked about, you know, Justin's one of those kids that's gonna win the National Book Award one day. Um, I don't know that any of us thought it might happen so soon, but I don't believe that any of us are surprised. We knew that he was gonna go on to do great things. He, um, as a student, he was always the, really a leader in the classroom. Not only was he a fantastic writer, and, and I mean multi-genre too, he was perhaps my best student in the nonfiction workshop, um, writing essays that were poetic, lyrical, beyond the reach or the scope of any other student I've ever had in that workshop. And, and also, um, he was a very compassionate person. He heard the personal stories of other students in that class. I remember him talking to me one day after, uh, well, during a break, he says, how? How do you deal with these these stories? And I, I could see that it pained him to know so much about other people's lives because he felt so sensitive. And you could see that um, come through in his writing, his poetry, his nonfiction. I think he also wrote good fiction, didn't he? And he was in your script writing class. Right. Yeah. And we actually produced one of his plays. I think it's probably one of the better student written plays we've ever got fortunate enough to, to have produced in Tuscan. Um, and of course I'm thinking too, last year I think it was Joyce Carol Oates named him one of the her top ten writers to look out for, but that was based on an essay. Which he had placed in Best American Essays, right. which is a huge achievement for, uh, for any essayist. I've, I've been a notable, which means I'm in the back of the book like four times. He, he landed right in there uh, um, among big names. Um, it was such a surprise then me. I mean, I was so delighted that to see one of our students attain that level of fame, but a National Book Award, that's like the Oscars for a writer, for writers. It's, it's just beyond what we could ever imagine. And yet, we knew that he was always on track toward success and acclaim. It's amazing how it could be surprising and not surprising all at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Justin Philip Reed, if you're watching this, we want you, all of us here in the English Department, English Fine Arts Department, but in the English program, um, as you remember it, Heather, Wayne, me, we are so proud of you, and we are so thankful that you're, um, you're serving as an inspiration to all of our current students in the program, our future students in the program. You're such a, um, just a delight for us, and uh, it made us all very proud. Thank you.